Well, good day guys. Welcome back to the channel. It's a nice and bright sunny Friday afternoon. I'm lucky today I've got a day off and I've decided to spend a bit of the time I've got on my day off to actually complete the video on the Inoff third eye system which I installed not too long ago on my R1250 GS Adventure. Now, I hope you have actually seen the video. If you haven't seen the video, I'll just put the link up here. That was a full installation guide of the R1250 G, uh, sorry, of the Enough system on the R1250 GS Adventure. And it was a step-by-step -step guide and I hope you guys find it helpful if you decide to get one of these things. Now, today what we're gonna do is, as promised, I'm gonna do a road test and sort of explain to you how the system works in real life and also show you how the alerts and everything work. So it's going to be a short video and I'm just going to take you on the freeway and that's where you get a lot of cars and that's really where you want to be using the system and sort of uh, try to uh, demonstrate how the, um, the system actually works. Now before that, I have made some slight changes to my installation from the last video. So I'm just going to show you what I've actually done very, very quickly. Okay, so now, um, the, uh, as far as the installation uh, side of things, everything remained the same. I've still got the, the indicators uh, on my fuel reservoir and clutch reservoir. So that hasn't changed, but what I've actually changed is I have actually mounted the, the rear sensor just underneath here. And I have tested it prior to doing this video and it seems to work pretty well. Initially, I mounted it under here um, I just found it a bit too much in your face and so this is a stealthier location and it actually works pretty well and as you can see I've angled it down about 10 degrees as per the instruction manual. The, the, the pack actually comes with this bracket so you can just install, use the bracket that comes in the pack and uh, install it and it really doesn't actually uh, affect with the number plate because as you see uh, the number plate isn't actually obstructing the actual sensor side. Of things so that seems to do the job for me and I've also routed the cable just behind uh, the actual uh, rare light and just goes into that, that space that is there so it looks a bit more stealthier and much more neater as well so if you are keen uh, to find out more about uh, how this thing works in real life jump on Go grab a cup of coffee and let's do this together. See ya. And we are ready to roll. So the first things first, I'm just going to turn on the engine and show you what it does when you actually turn on the engine. So you should hear. Yeah. So you get the two, both the lights blinking and then you get uh, an audible sound, so it goes teet, 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 teet. So that's about six uh, beeps that it does. Now, uh, you can silent that, so um, you can actually mute the, the, or, uh, the, uh, the beeping sound. So at this particular mode, when you get traffic or when the, when the BDS system gets activated, you will get a visual light as well as an audible sound. If you want to turn that off, that's pretty easy. All you got to do is just press and hold this uh, press and hold this uh, mute button here and you heard that beep there now that means it is now muted okay so now if I turn it on back once I've hit the mute button you only hear one beep and then the rest is just flashing lights and you only hear that one beep that one beep is actually the system check and once that's done you are good to roll so now let's roll so i have actually been testing out the system for about close to two weeks now um, i did a bit of uh, off-road riding as well uh, last week um, we did the uh, forest loop trail and that video should uh, be out uh, in a couple of days so hopefully by the time this video is out you would have watched that video and uh, i was trying to see how the uh, uh, the enough uh, 
third eye BVS system would work um, in off-road situations and to my surprise it actually worked pretty well um, whenever there was a motorcycle coming past me and I am just focusing on the road at the front it actually helped because it eliminated it sort of alerted me that there is a motorcycle just behind of me or someone is planning to overtake so that was actually quite uh, pleasant and uh, I actually did uh, like that quite a bit back on the road now there is a car on my right hand side at the moment you can probably see the car just coming up in my mirror there so it's not in my blind spot at the moment and that's why it's not actually uh, alerting me now how the system actually works is it works on the 100 and from the rear sensor the rear rudder it actually works on a 150 degree um, angle uh, so it sort of captures things from uh, basically uh, one full lane on your on your left and a full lane on your right so you're pretty safe and it angles downwards as well so that it's got a baseline there to actually capture as well and uh, how it actually works as well so the two part of this uh, whole thing one is the blind spot uh, detection system in which it'll light up uh, on the appropriate stride depending on where the actual blind spot uh, is triggered so it could be on your right hand side or your left hand side or it could also uh, the second functionality is it actually also works as a, a rear collision warning system so if a car if a vehicle is coming too close to you at a particular speed um, within four meters distance of your actual motorcycle the boat the uh, lights will start to flash so you can see now that is it's flashing here because that car at the back of me was coming a bit fast uh, the traffic light was green obviously and I was not paying attention and so that flashed uh, at me so alerting me that there's a car at the back of me so that's a good thing so that actually uh, is a good demonstration to show that uh, it actually works now and this is where I plan to run most of my test today it is a bit windy so I hope that the audio is clear enough for your viewers out there so I just want to try to keep you to pay attention on the two sensors Alright, so I'm going to overtake this vehicle on my left It's not going to alert me because it hasn't seen that vehicle yet because remembering that the radar is at the back it hasn't seen the vehicle so it's not going to alert me that there's a vehicle in my blind spot because technically it isn't I can still look at the vehicle on my mirror but once I go forward and the radar has taken time to actually scan all the uh, vehicles at the back of me it then will start to work so if I now slow down I slow down and I allow those two vehicles to actually overtake me you will see that this light should light up anytime soon you see how it's lighting up and that's that car that is just coming past me so it's alerting me that there was a car on my blind spot now you see it's lighting up here and that's that car there that has just passed me on my blind spot so that's how good so remember I mounted the radar on the right hand side but this car was on the left and despite the radar being where it is you would have thought that it would be obstructed but it's not because it still works a wonder in picking up uh, and you can see now it's picking up I can't see that car at all here but it's, it's picked up the car on my blind spot and that's the beauty about the system and I just can't, can't tell you how great it is um, and for, for a fraction of the price that you would pay by getting uh, you know one of those uh, uh, ones that you have uh, you know in build the mirror and stuff but the problem with getting the ones that are built in the mirror is if you break the mirror you have to change the whole unit and that is going to cost you a lot of money so especially with like for the Multistrada V4 the Ducati Multistrada V4 they are the ones that started off with this system where they had the blind spot built in the mirror that's all well and good it works really well it's all integrated in the system but if you break the mirror 
you go off road you drop your bike the mirror cracks you know then you got to pay a lot of money well with a system like this you know it's it's uh, it's fairly cheap fairly inexpensive in my opinion and uh, and you know it's not going to break because it's it's mounted there it's mounted in the perfect spot uh, look and you're free to mount it wherever you want uh, as well so that gives you a lot of uh, customizability that you can choose to uh, adopt so that it actually works best for you so even the R1300 GS that comes in with the uh, with the blind spot monitoring built in the mirrors that's all well and good but as I said to you if you break if you break those mirrors it's going to cost you a lot now I can see there's a bus now on my left hand side I can actually see the bus now but as I as the bus comes now it's in my blind spot and you can see this thing light up it lighted up showing me that there's a, there's a vehicle coming on my right uh, so now what is the area of coverage so this this device the the uh, enough third eye system actually covers up to 50 meters uh, square range and it got it looks up to 64 activation points so it can at, at any time it scans for about 64 objects vehicles that are in your way and, and it remembers it and it starts to track it and because it's got a 50 meter wide detection range that means that if i'm staying in the middle lane like how i'm staying now anything that comes on my left hand side uh in the left hand lane this the system will pick up and anything that comes on my right hand lane the system will also pick up which is what you want now i'm not saying please don't get me wrong i'm not saying this needs to replace your 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 head check because i would still do my head checks and i think the head checks are extremely important uh, but this just adds that extra layer of uh, of security or extra layer of you know protection if you want to call it use that word uh, for you when you are riding and i think why not if that's going to you know make make me safer on the road and protect me on the road i think it's a, it's a brilliant addition i had to park uh, myself on the side of the road uh, for a little bit because uh, i realized that i hadn't done up my helmet properly so uh, just stopped to do that but a good example here is you can see how it's it's lighting up so whenever a car comes it's actually lighting up it's picking up everything which is uh, just a good demonstration to show you guys all right so now i can possibly get back on the road so let's do this so we've got a truck there coming all right i'm going to cut in so the only thing we need to remember uh, with the enough uh, third eye system is that we need to allow the radar to actually scan what's behind so as i said to you with the earlier demonstration if i overtake the car it's not going to pick that car up until it's until it's uh, managed to scan the car similarly if you are going on a road where there are cars parked on the left or your right it's not going to pick those things up as objects either because those are stationary objects they are not moving and because it's not moving the system does not pick it up as a, as a, as a vehicle so it will not it will not light up so just something uh, important point for you to consider just going into the MAT This car is not going to pick up because it hasn't scanned the car yet but now that it has the moment the car starts to overtake me it will let me know so i'll give another example if i overtake this truck here on my right it is not going to alert me because it knows i overtook it right it hasn't scanned the truck yet but now it has so now when this truck comes and overtakes me you see how it's lighting up that truck was actually too close to me before it came and overtook so that's why both light up it says that hang on maybe this guy is coming too close to you uh he might be he, there's a possibility that might knock into you so 
that's why both the lights light it up to alert me that uh, there is a vehicle at the back that is too close to me right i'm on the center end of the m80 uh, freeway and um, just trying to give you a demonstration of how it will pick up so that car is too far away so it did not pick up but this one you see it's telling me that there was a car so right and left both at the same time so both flashes but if it flash and stops that means a car at the back of you directly at the back of you is too close to you so that's the difference if you've got a car on your left and your right passing you at the same time both lights will illuminate and that's expected because it's saying to you the boat, there's a vehicle on your left and there's a vehicle on your right but if you get both lights illuminating and there is uh, and they are strobing at the same time that means that there's something so you see this one this truck is this van is just overtaking me now if both lights came up at the same time and they were strobing that means that um, there is a vehicle at the back of you that is too close to you and there is a possibility of a, of a collision from the rear end so that's what it is uh, in summary so i think they you know there really isn't much more to to, to put onto this uh, system really all in all I, i'm really happy with how it works i'm happy that you know as you can see i i, I can now relog a bit more uh, confidently and safer because if i stay on my lane uh, I know that uh, it will pick up anything in the blind spot obviously I'm going to keep looking at my mirrors and also doing my head checks when I'm switching lanes and so on but for the most part it's really good because it, it is alerting me and it's quite bright as well so it works really well and at night time even better uh, night time also it works really well so really like it so all in all guys I think uh, that's basically what I'm trying to cover in this video really um, just trying to show you how the in after eye system now as i said to you i've had this thing for over two weeks now close to three weeks testing it out playing around with it uh, and i found a, a spot that works the best for mounting the wear radar and i really like how uh, the front uh, sensors uh, the front uh, illuminators or sensors whatever you call them uh, is mounted i think that's a, that's a sweet spot and also they are waterproof ip ip67 rated so last week i washed the bike with my pressure washer and so on and no issues whatsoever there it worked like a charm so pretty impressed and pretty happy with it and i think it's an excellent addition uh, to the motorcycle highly recommend you getting this especially if you're commuting to work uh, regularly and if you're traveling a lot on the freeways and the highways this thing is just going to add value to to your to your life and to your day-to-day -day riding now um before I end the video, I just want to let you know that I am affiliated with Enough, and uh, Enough sent me this product for free for review, and um, I'm really grateful to Enough. So big shout out to Enough! Thank you, Enough, for sending me this excellent product for review and giving me the opportunity to review. There are not many people in Australia that do reviews, uh, so to all you viewers out there, I would really appreciate it if you could give me a big thumbs up for this video if you found it helpful and if you can subscribe to the channel that will also be great and also please uh, drop in a comment if you've got any questions at all if you needed to know anything further about the system uh, besides that uh, i have some affiliate links down below and uh, if you decide to purchase please use my affiliate link down below there's also a discount code that will give you a 10 percent discount for every enough product that you buy so please uh, feel free to use the discount code now i will get a small uh, kickback to it that's just the nature of the business and that helps the channel grow as well and i put back all the money to the channel upgrading and, and improving the the content that you get so i hope you guys really enjoyed this video and it was helpful and i, I think you should definitely invest in the enough third eye system now they have got multiple uh, systems available they've got a third eye uh, the light system which i've got they've also got a clock one and now recently they they came up with the, a newer version i think it's called the um, i'm not sure what it's called but i'll put an image uh, of the system uh, just uh, somewhere in this in this screen maybe here and that's that's a system that's an integrated system where it comes with the uh, the uh, uh, rare the the uh, blind spot detection as well 
as it comes with a front and rear camera as well so that's a sweet addition because previously uh, Enoff had a K7 system where it was the cameras and then you had to buy the uh, the third eye system for the blind spot detection but what what they have done now is they have amalgamated and made it all into one compact system I can't remember what it's called but I've put an image there so that you know which one it is I'll also put a link to that item down below you can see both flashing now that's because the car was coming too close to me so that's that's again a good sign there but anyway going back to what i was saying um yeah so you'll get a 10 percent discount if you use my links and that will really help the channel so please feel free to use the links now i also wanted to tell you that i've got a blog that i run on uh, on this platform called buy me a coffee and also another platform called coffee so on there i i put in uh, stuff uh, I, I write some posts and all that and I've also got items that I have for sale uh, mainly they're free uh, I've got uh, GPX files and so on from my rights and all that you can download for free there so please do check out my buy me a coffee page and coffee page the links are down in the description and if you feel to you can you're more than welcome to buy me a coffee if you like uh, it's a pretty simple process and I would really appreciate that and that will be and also if you could follow me on, on those platforms that will also be great and I've also got my link tree uh, link in the description below. That, that will take you to a link to my shop with all my affiliate links in there and all discount codes and so on. So please check out the link as well. So that's all for today, guys. I hope you guys enjoyed the video and I hope that was a good enough explanation for you on the Enough Third Eye system. And again, uh, happy riding, safe riding, and I shall see you in the next one. Cheers. Bye-bye.